Hi, good morning guys. It's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm gonna give you a quick video walk around of this 2017 on a 67 plate. Uh, Ford Transit tipper, uh, double cab as you can see. So it's a seven seat version. Uh, you've got four seats in the back, three seats in the front. It's a two litre TDCI Euro 6 model as well. So um, obviously all good for the various emission zones such as London ULES. Uh, Birmingham, Bath and Bristol and obviously it's all coming in everywhere else as well isn't it they're all on the bandwagon and charging us now aren't they uh, so you'll be all good for that um, it is as I say uh, one keeper from new it has come off lease uh, it is not in bad condition to be fair you know what it's like with the tippers they vary massively in condition uh, this is the aluminium drop side as you can see a couple of minor marks on the drop sides we'll point that out to you as we go around uh, but nothing too major at all. Um, full details of weight carrying and all of that are on the, uh, are in, will be in the advert. I'll point out various stuff as we go around as well. Um, so let's start off there on the roof. So we've got obviously the obligatory amber warning beacon up there on the roof. Uh, your side lights, lights are all good. And then in the center of the your roof there as well, we have a front facing camera. So this vehicle does have front and rear facing cameras fitted to it as well. Uh, windscreen is all good. No major damage at all to the windscreen. Bonnet. Bonnet is looking all good. Now the vehicle was wrapped um, when it came uh, into us. So uh, we have de-wrapped it, um, so your, your whole front cab, in actual fact, is pretty good condition-wise because it's been protected by a uh, by a wrap, obviously. Uh, passenger headlight unit, that's all good. Passenger side front bumper corner. I don't know what's going on with the, with the Valator and the front bumper. Uh, there's a few bits I can see as I walk around the vehicle. I'm not happy with from a valeting point of view, so we'll get these sorted out on it before it goes out the door. But front bumper, no major damage or scuffs. Coming around to the front of the vehicle, your front grille again, all in good order as well. And then driver's side front bumper corner, again, that's in good condition with no major damage. You know, you've got a little bit of a scratchy sort of mark there, but it's all on the plastic, so it doesn't really stand out to be fair. Driver's side headlamp's all good. Driver's side front wing, so, I only just noticed it, it like this as I walk around. So the, the panel fit there isn't amazing, is it? Let's face it. I suggest um, it's just an adjustment between this panel and this panel. Uh, I think that is a, just a separate plastic unit, isn't it, or something? So we'll have to have a see if we can get that lined up a little bit nicer. Um, all of your line marks coming around by your headlamps and bonnet are good up onto the screen and that way that's all good so i don't think it's had anything major but yeah once it's out on site to blokes working it they're never going to really chop it back into the four dealer to sort that out are they so driver's side front wing that's all looking pretty good driver's side front steel wheel uh, you know minor marks on your steel wheel you've got a good year vector four seasons tire um, so it's like an all season winter tire on that vehicle uh, tire tread depth on that looking pretty good if I get down low and just look down the side of the tub um, no major damage to point out to you it's all looking pretty good there your driver's mirror unit and indicator are all in good order your mirrors themselves upper and lower those are all good driver's side door the door glass itself are all good Your driver's door lock is in good order. If we look at your door edges from top to bottom, go all the way down. In actual fact, no major damage to your door edges. We've got a really minor little ding there, which is really common, always around that area in the transit. I have no idea why. Now, as you can see, <coughs> the lads have obviously put a lovely self tapper into there to keep your plastic strip on. Um, not ideal, is it? Um, but I'm sure there's something we can try and sort out with that. Getting down low, looking at your seals. Your seals are in good condition. 
driver's side rear door, all good. Your plastics going down the side of the vehicle, obviously, other than the self tapper are all pretty good. Door itself, all good. Rear door glass is good. Door handles, good. Door locks, as you can see, no signs of any braking damage or anything. Door edges on the back of the rear doors or the back of the rear tub, they're all good. Got a little bit of a mark there on the door. The back end of it itself, the tipper body, is in pretty good condition, but it has done a job, obviously, hasn't it? But they don't buy them to park them up and polish them. Um, obviously, these are your release handles. Uh, bits of uh, what I would suggest is probably cement or something like that on there. Um, but the actual side panels themselves are in pretty good condition, to be fair. You know, bits on the top, again, more concrete based, I'd have thought. You got a pretty useful, massive van vault sat on the back of it as well. You know, if that's taken up too much room and it's no good for you, then uh, not a major drama to remove it, but uh, might be handy for fitting the old tools in. Obviously, it looks like you're secured by two uh, padlocks. The bed itself is a, uh, looks like a metal bed to me, it is. Um, so it's got a metal bed of some sort, which is a lot more durable than the wooden ones. And yes, it's got marks and whatnot on it, hasn't it? But overall, not bad condition. Bulkhead up behind the <coughs> van vault is uh, not in bad condition either. Your rear drop side, or the drop tail gate, I should say. Um, standard dent right in the centre, like every tipper you ever see has a dent there. God knows what you road boys do to them, but um, yeah, they all have a little dent there and the vast majority of them are an awful lot worse than that one. Down here we've got reverse camera, we've got a tow bar, we have the pin for the tow bar um, in, the, uh, in the driver's side compartment. Lights each side, those are all in good condition. Obviously we'll be banging it through the workshop and getting a fresh MOT put on it before it goes out the door. We'll also be servicing it before it goes out the door as well. Uh, and then, obviously you've got your health and safety bars. These are these uh, yellow ones, which are, uh, you can undo them and remove them if you want to. This one's obviously a bit bent, isn't it? Done a job there. Still doing its job, just got a bit of a bend in it. This one, this side, all good. Side panel, this side, again, panel itself the aluminium panel itself is looking pretty good top of the bed again showing signs of wear and tear a little bit of a dent there but this is nice and clean so this you know you can buy it side right that bit up quite nicely to be fair <clears throat> rear steel wheel with a Hancock tyre steel wheel's got some minor markings on it mud flap and everything again minor markings on the mud flaps but they're all in good decent working order <coughs> a tyre that size side is a Hancock plenty of tyre tread depth on there <coughs> I missed it out on this side didn't I so again you've got a yeah a beautiful budget on there um and that's the tire tread depth on there. We'll have to measure that one, see what it comes out at. Um, but it's a budget tire on there. Rear mud flap that side, that's all looking good. Just looking at your chassis underneath, it's clean and tidy really, you know, it's done a job, but it's, it's, it's not covered and battered. And again, depending on what they've been used for, they can look a bit horrific underneath. I've taken photos of the underneath of it with the deck up so you can see, but uh, overall, you know, pretty nice, clean, tidy condition. Um, obviously, drop side handles. These drop down on the side. You know how they work, don't they? You've got your little fold-out step here, look. So you lads can climb up onto it, your yellow health and safety bars. <coughs> We've got a bit of LED lighting on the back there as well, look. One on each side. Beautiful. Uh, tub this side. A couple of minor marks, nothing major. I'll go straight to the minor marks, first of all. Little bit of a ding there, a little bit of a ding there. Door itself, this side, fairly straight and tidy. They've used another self tapper here, look. Jesus, for the sake of a, of a five pence plastic clip. Um, anyway, so 
yeah we'll have to probably try and get that resolved seals this side as you can see straight tidy no major wax in them uh passenger front door all pretty good other than that mark i've already showed to you door glass etc is all good mirror units all pretty good indicator units good bit of a mark there on your mirror unit nothing particularly wrong with it uh, i've driven it down here it doesn't seem to shake at all when it's driving uh passenger front wing that's all good steel wheel this side uh we've got another vector uh, goodyear vector four season tire so you've got a matching pair of those on the front gives you a bit of additional traction uh come winter in the back of it inside of your rear doors you know minor marks on the panels but actually nothing major and it's all pretty clean look your door steps getting into it again there's marks but there's nothing major back of your seats again you know wear and tear stuff but nothing major headlining all pretty good rear seats so four lads in the back there they'll be happy together won't they seats i think could do with another wash uh, i mean we'd always suggest you bang a set of seat covers on and a set of thick rubber mats for your flooring that'll help with keeping everything uh, in good working order there's your fire extinguisher passenger door card this side again marks associated with this type of vehicle doing a job but again Fairly clean and tidy. Door shuts, as you can see, nice and clean and tidy in between there. Your entry steps, again, nothing major. We have your fuel flap here. We have your add blue filler down there as well. Passenger seats, front passenger seats. So you've got three seats in the front. Let's move our camera out of the way. Again, front seats could probably do with another wet vac, but by no means anything in the way of horrific when it comes to wear and tear. Glove box, book packs in there. Dashboard fascia, not too bad. Doesn't appear to have had too many work boots up there on the dash. This is your screen for your cameras. I'll show you that in a second. Cup holders, vents all appear to be in good working order as well. I'll show you under the bonnet, shall I, whilst we're at it. Get the key out. In fact, I think I've forgotten to photo under the bonnet. So to open up the bonnet, you need your key. Your key goes into this slot. You turn left and then all the way around to the right. And when you haven't got a phone in your hand, you can just open it. Obviously, I've got a phone in my hand. So, yeah, that's not going to be my finest hour on the video, is it? But it's looking underneath. Bonnet bolts all look nice and original. Underneath the bonnet, as you can see, clean and tidy. There's no ingrained dirt. There is your coolant. As you can see, that's the correct color of coolant for Ford and there's no contamination in there at all. Fuse box is in there, should you uh, need to get hold of it. Power steering fluid is there. Your yellow dipstick is there. Oil filler is there. Uh, looking underneath, well, it's difficult in a video, isn't it? But you can see it's not plastered in oil. Hopefully, you get right down there. All looking pretty clean and tidy, isn't it? Brake fluid, screen wash, air filters in behind there. Uh, with these things the way we supply them is before they go out the door it'll have a full service done on it so that will include your oil your oil filter your air filter your fuel filter and your pollen filter i don't think you'll have a pollen filter actually because it's not got air con has it so but anyway we'll get that all done on it for you rear doors this side driver's side rear doors again door cards show signs of wear and tear but nothing major again entry seals all in pretty good condition, your door shuts, all looking pretty good. And then entry sills this side. Could do with another clean if I'm honest with you. I'm not happy with how it's looking, so I'm gonna get them to give it another re-clean, alright? 
but driver's seat squabs, it's not worn to pieces or anything like that. It's all pretty clean and tidy. And your driver's door card, again, looks a bit mucky. And again, I'm going to get them to re-clean it. Um, that one should come up a lot better than what it currently looks. So this is a 54,000 mile vehicle. <coughs> As I say, one owner, direct off the lease. Uh, seven seat double cab tipper uh, with aluminium drop sides. Uh, single wheel on the back, it's no major drama to be fair. Some of them are double, some of them are single. I think weight wise, there's not an awful lot in the way that they carry them. It's to do with your leaf springs and shite like that, isn't it? Excuse the language, <clears throat> I must remember I'm on video. Uh, so there we go, one keeper from new, um, sensible miles, it's all warranted off the lease. Um, two litre TDCI Euro 6, so emission zones compliant, isn't it? Um, pretty straight old tub, really. Is it perfect? No, it's not. Obviously, it's a tipper, isn't it? It's done a job. Is it a good example for it, for the year? I think it is, yes. Um, feel free to have a look at the photos on our website. There's 60 to 70 of them on our website. Our website is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today Worcester, based in the centre of the country, offering nationwide delivery, part exchange and finance. Feel free to give us a call 01905 672 080 or email us sales at vanstoday.com. Cheers.